What is good? We're back. We got a bipod. Bipod. Got Big D, how you doing? Good, brother. Good. Just um, living the dream one beep at a time. So yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I have a little uh, construction going on outside. So hopefully the uh, backup beeping isn't too insufferable. Can't do anything about it. So appreciate y'all for joining us. We are going to uh, tackle a little looking into the future with 2024 free agents. We're going to talk about some of the top running backs. Um, you know, I like to I like to get at this a little early and then we'll revisit uh, much like a lot of stuff. And, you know, it's fun to speculate, talk about where these guys might go, might not. And then, uh, you know, maybe some of the fallout they might leave behind. Well, always, always good to check in on who the backups are. And, and before your season closes out, if you're still able to pick up some guys, just knowing that some of these guys are on the free agent list and going to maybe grab some backups because it was lucrative, uh, you know, in the past with guys like Jerome Ford and Kyron Williams. Backups have been uh, coming in and, and known to uh, win you some leagues here. So let's start right off the rip with with Saquon Barkley. Uh, is he staying or is he going? I guess if I'm Barkley, right? I mean, you have to go if you get the money because he he needs that second contract, right? He needs the, he needs the cash. So, so I, I just, I guess a better way to say this is, do I think anybody would pay Barkley? And the answer is maybe, (laughs) so, uh, you know, like, um, you know, uh, Henry is, is leaving the Titans as an example. Would you pay Barkley to come in and replace replace Henry a few years younger obviously did a little bit different skill set um but but you know um still prolific in his own mind or is in his own right I guess um outside of his injury struggles that he's had he, he definitely still seems to have the juice and he's been carrying it um uh carrying the team <laughs> in in, in yeah. lots in more ways than one um and so I mean if I'm Barkley I guess I would try to get out of New York but um uh but I, but I think it's really going to come down for him is probably who pays him. Um, I hate right. to say it that way, but that's that's the I think that's the 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 market of the running back is you kind of I don't know how much luxury you have as, as far as like I got to get my bag. You know, Miles Sanders' right. bag was in Carolina, hasn't worked out this year. But but no. point being is like you know sometimes you just got to leave and 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 find it find it somewhere else. Maybe it's not even a as lucrative as a spot, but, uh, but I, I think Barkley is going to get paid. I don't know who's going to pay him. Um, if I'm the giants, I'm trying to figure out a way to get him back, but, um, right. Yeah, it'll be, it's interesting. Cause I, I think, you know, the, the running back market has, has played out a little bit here and, and all those guys, a lot of these guys we're going to talk about went fr- got franchise tagged or then got a little bit of a weird, uh, extension at one point. I know Jacobs and, and Saquon got a little extra money incentives. And I think, uh, Eckler might've got a, some, some of that contract as well. Um, so it seems like the Giants are willing to give Saquon some money. It's, it's are they willing to accept the level of money that they're getting? I think uh, an interesting team that you touched on there is the Tennessee Titans, a, a team not afraid to build around the run. Um, mm-hmm. And in checking through cap right now, now I think uh, some of this will change a little bit, but projected cap right now, it looks like Tennessee's in the top three of cap. Uh, so that's, you know, Henry move on, Henry not move on. We'll, we'll maybe touch that at the end here. But um, if he does move on, you know, I think I don't think they'd be scared to pay a running back um, in in Tennessee because they're they yeah. they don't they don't care what everybody else is doing. We're going to do things this way. Um, and if they could get Saquon or Jacobs, I think those guys would be that's going to be some of their best chances to get good top of the market money. Right. Um, you know, the commanders would would potentially have uh, some money and maybe an opening, but I think Robinson has probably done enough where they're not that concerned about it. And I don't think if you're going to be in a team that's in a position to win right off the rip, that maybe you don't want to do that. The Houston Texans Mm -hmm. uh, could have some cash and be willing to pay a little bit more for a bit more of a dynamic uh, player who can do a little bit of both, which Jacobs and Saquon uh, can do. Um, Mm -hmm. So I think at the end of the day, I think Saquon stays in New York uh, I think they work something out with incentive based and and hey we went we we did this whole rigmarole last time it seems like you know maybe he's bitter and says hey I'm getting out of here I want to go somewhere else and try to win um, mm-hmm. but I, I think at the end of the day I think he stays I think he could probably get money from them he knows that you can get decent uh, you know promotional deals if you're in the New York area um, yeah. So I, th- I think he stays. I think it gives I think it gives him the best chance to probably get the money unless somebody really comes in. But I just I just don't know who who that's going to be at this you know particular juncture. Um, 
and you know what is i guess nice is there isn't a Bijan or a gibbs per se in this next class uh, right. so it's it's i think it's a little deeper but perceived as maybe a little weaker mm -hmm. um so i think you're going to get a lot of guys that um you know or some of the higher end guys are going to be second and thirds and then there's going to be a bunch of guys that get gobbled up in the fourth fifth sixth um you know and if, if, if saquon did go eric gray was a guy i believe they drafted in the fifth round last year um so mm -hmm. he would be somebody that if he isn't on a roster but he probably is because he was a rookie this past year he's been on ir uh for a good chunk of the season there i think he he came back sometime around thanksgiving they opened up the window but i don't think he's been back on the field yet yeah. um decent player um so if he's out there go ahead and scoop him up um and just hold him on your roster um everybody else on that roster right now i don't i don't think you want brito or corbin uh really mm -hmm. so i'd kind of probably let those guys uh go uh, and maybe um you know gray would be somebody that you could that you could pick up for cheap right now if somebody you know scrambled around at the end of the season and needed some space because they were picking up nick mullins or they were picking up you know this guy or that guy and, and dropping at the end of the season oh, i don't care about gray right now Maybe he's yeah. available, so you could scoop him up. Um, could be. You know, I don't think he's a terrible player. Yeah, I think there's a higher probability that Barkley is back in New York than Josh Jacobs is back in <laughs> back in Vegas. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure that that Jacobs is <clears throat> he's had enough of of uh, situation ownership. of ownership of of that, and I I would think that who knows. I, uh, money money does different things so could be completely <laughs> wrong but i i would almost think that he might he might leave if there's a comparable deal somewhere even if it's you know even if vegas is maybe giving him a little bit more he might still in my opinion i feel like he may still leave in other words he's not giving a hometown discount so yeah if, if, if he stays there it's because they're paying him you know top top two rb money so uh and i i just don't see that happening so um yeah, the so Giants seem to be middle of the pack with cap. The Vegas Raiders they got them they got them at around ten uh, for cap, and I think some of this will change. They'll shuffle contracts around mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and that. But right now, as as far as Spot Track is putting it, th those they're right there. So th there's some money available for those teams. Yeah, um, where are the Chiefs at on that list? They're right below um, New York at, uh, at seventeen on this list right now. Um, okay, so yeah. obviously an interesting spot there but i think they just keep rolling with pacheco and draft another young guy um probably yeah and, and yeah. maybe try to spend on receivers um so but yeah so we can move to josh jacobs real quick you, you said kind of go in there for the most part i i read an article that if if it's i think if antonio pierce keeps the job there it seemed like mm. his main priority was to bring back jacobs like he thought that he was a big heart and soul of this team kind of talking yeah. the owner into extending him so i think if that if he stays i think jacobs could stay that's that's um, a very very valid point i i think everybody loves um players coaches and mm -hmm. you know he's a player coach and and um if he ends up sticking around and and getting the head coaching position then then that i guess that would be the one thing because you know most most companies people don't quit on companies people quit on people right in the real world right. like you know that's that's a saying that's pretty pretty popular pretty famous and and i think that's the same thing with with jacobs like i think that if you if pierce does stick around he would he could stick around he would be more likely to stick around for pierce than he would for 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 anyone else that brought it even if it was a big name right and so um so yeah that 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 is a valid point yeah no and i, I think i had read that uh in, in a couple different places as well uh I th you know jacob's been a little banged up this year was a little slow to start but then you know did what jacobs does throughout you know a portion of the season putting up solid run, running back numbers i think he's mm -hmm. one of the better underrated all-around players in the league so i think he'd be huge for the the uh, raiders moving forward they need to you know i don't think they go on with aoc as their quarterback moving forward obviously uh they get a win here which hurts their draft stock a little bit i've seen a little bit of Jaden daniels being mocked over to uh the raiders i think you know they want a quarterback they're probably going to go after somebody i think that makes a huge difference so i think he more likely to stay if Pierce stays, and then I think if not, I think if they reboot everything, I think I think Jacobs goes. Um, yeah, and like like we stated in the beginning of this, I think Tennessee would be the likely landing spot for either Saquon and Jacobs to get their most money and to value the running back position maybe more than others. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of other teams on this list, you know, don't aren't striking me as somebody who are going to pay up for the running back. So you know who. You know, Houston could be one of those teams, like we mentioned. Uh, I don't see Cincinnati doing that. Um, the Commanders, 
I guess you could do that, but it's just like, it seems like you're more than the, that piece away from doing something. You get new ownership in there. They're going to probably just do something completely different. Now, maybe somebody like Bill Belichick goes to the commanders. Maybe he pays one of those running backs um, yeah. and says, Hey, let, let's, let's get a guy in here who can help us. If we could focus around this guy a little bit and, and get a quarterback or whatever, but um, Colts just paid JT. They're up in the high in the salary. The the Patriots are are high up in the in that area, which I I feel like well, I don't think they're doing that. It seems like them and Bill are going separate ways. Chicago Bears, I guess potentially, mm-hmm. um, with a new a new rookie quarterback coming in there, could, could make sense spot. for yeah. any team there. Um, you know, it seems like Patri- a lot of those teams at the top could be clearing you know skins or uh, Commanders, Patriots. Um, Bears potentially all could have new coaching staffs. I think that's a big part of it. Um, yep. All this, like we kind of mentioned there. So um, I don't know that I have the best landing spot. I think that's going to come down to some of this too, is is what's the market. So I think, um, you know, that can almost force those guys into maybe staying um, mm-hmm. in, in for a little less money um, for somebody who kind of knows them and, and, and likes them. So, um, you know, I, Ravens would be somebody one of you know I could see them wanting a dynamic player. You had Dobbins who you saw for like a half, and in mm-hmm. that offense was good. Gus Edwards is a free agent. Keaton Mitchell just coming out tore his ACL, um, look looked really good and fun. But you know, can we add a dynamic back uh, with with those with with um to go with Lamar? And I think that would be huge for that offense. Uh, I right. think you can get it done with the two party system that they've been kind of rolling with this year and Gus and Keaton, you get a thunder and lightning. Uh, but I think a big time number one, like they were hoping on JK Dobbins being, um, mm-hmm. you know, I think Jacobs or, or Saquon would bring a lot to that offense. Yeah. I think also Minnesota is an interesting one. Cause if they bring Kirk back, you know, meaning mm-hmm. that they're, <clears throat> they're reloading that offense. Um, I think that they could bring in one of those, you know, either Barkley or Jacobs into that offense, bring back a Dalvin cook, like, uh, feel to that offense and, 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 you know, um, so, uh, I don't know where they're at cap wise, but, but it kind of just thinking through some of the teams and some of the landing spots that I would like, I, I, I think I would like Jacobs or Barkley to go to, to the Vikings and, and, uh, um, and a couple of those other spots. And then I, I said the sleeper team would be the chiefs for Jacob. So Jacobs is so young, man. It's so, it's so funny. Yeah. Like I was, I was, while you were, while you were chatting, I was looking him up and then I was like, well, what about the, you know, he's leaving. So let, let's look at Zamir white and, you know, some of the, the backups and stuff like that. And Zamir white's only a year younger than him. You know, yeah. it's just, it's just crazy how young Jacobs was coming out. So, yeah. So Zamir would be, you know, somebody that if, if available scoop up, probably not available though. Uh, you know, yeah. I don't think you want to, there, there's not the fallout from Jacobs leaving. I don't think there's really any running backs there that you're all that intrigued in, you know, Amir Abdullah and, and um, whoever else I forget. I'm drawing a blank on Bolden. Maybe is he still there? I think Bolden's still <laughs> um, there, yeah. You know, so I don't think you really want any, and there's no, no great fallout from there. So let's, let's keep it moving. Um, the Packers would be another one. They're losing AJ Dillon this year. Aaron yeah. Jones, a little old, a dynamic RB to go with your, your quarterback. Uh, mm-hmm. They're they're not great in cap space, but I would assume that maybe they could figure something out um, and, and get a running back to go there, and probably be a desirable place for a running back to go. Their their uh, their line's been a little beat up this year, but I think they can get back on track um, and and have a good line and and a good system with it. That's a system that I think thrives with a good running back in it um, mm-hmm. and a dynamic one. And we've seen what Aaron Jones can do, but can't can't count on them keep on the field they just there's a completely different team with aaron jones on the field so i think a dynamic running back in 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 that situation would be good uh, wishful thinking i think packers and eagles obviously but i don't know if they're going to spend on a on a big time guy they'll they'll try to i think they're going to continue just trying to find whatever the best deal is and make the running back work in that regard or or, or do you see that going differently i don't see it going differently i <clears throat> i think I, I think you brought up a couple couple good teams. I think the NFC North is is always candidates for for any of these yeah. top top talent running backs just because of how that division has been set up for years and years and years. Um, you know, just pounding and and bruising each other. Um, right. And so I, I, I think the Eagles are they're you know with the running back position in particular they're a bargain hunter so I, I i can't see them bringing anything i don't i don't think they're going to bring back swift i don't i and i right. also don't think so that they're gonna we could hit swift real quick uh yeah. staying or going swift going 
Yeah. So I, I ruined the surprise, but oh, yeah. Oh, no, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swift, I think, is going. I, I, it, and again, I don't think it's Swift or Talon. I think it's just the way the Eagles like to like to design their rosters. I, I don't think that they're going to pay what Swift demands. I, I don't know if they should or shouldn't. That's that's a different discussion to me is is are they going right. to? I don't think they're going to. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I I agree. I think it's good to separate those two things. They should, if 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 you know fundamentally, you think it's how you should do the running back thing is a completely different discussion. Where we are theoretically just talking about what yeah. could make some sense, um, right? And you know, I think it de- depends on how Swift is and the Eagles are down the stretch here for Swift's mm-hmm. future in Philly. Yeah. I think if they could strike a reasonable deal and bring him back, but he seems like he could be a guy who you're not going to have to pay Jacobs and and. Uh, Barkley type of money. So a lot of those teams we just mentioned, Packers, Ravens, I think he'd draw a lot of interest from them because he's he's a talented player that I don't think is going to, you know, I don't think he can get away with saying, hey, yeah, I, I want, I want, yeah, obviously we all want to, you know, what's wish in one hand and, and poop in the other. Yeah. Um, you know, we all, we all want 13, 14 million a year or whatever, but, you know, I don't think he's going to get anywhere close to the 10 million a year. Right. Um, so I think he, you could probably be had for six, seven, eight million a year, and and he'd be pretty happy if he got two or three years of that. Yeah. Um, so it seems like mostly, pro- most likely, probably going if they can get a good deal on him and he works well with them down the stretch. It's kind of been a little bit of up and down with Swift. Really, the Eagles' run game they have kind of seemingly gotten away from it. Right. Um, but you know, there's some lower level names on here that maybe they could just they'd be looking to do another swift like deal um for them like a zach moss or a aj not probably not aj dylan but uh maybe try out dobbins coming off gibson. an injury see if we can get gibson, some lightning man. in a bottle gibson yeah, yeah i feel like gibson is a is a prime candidate for them right and boston scott i believe is a free agent after this year too who's you know always been a guy on their team and so gainwell mm-hmm. and penny is a free agent so they're going to be looking almost all their running backs are free agents outside of gainwell um so they're going to be looking yeah. for something then that could be a draft and and hey let's let's get one of these you know you know rico dowdle is also a free agent Dante mm-hmm. foreman's a free agent yeah. um kareem hunt's a free agent you know they, they're probably going to bargain bin shopping because they fundamentally they seem like the fantasy team who's don't pay the running back uh yeah you know kind of guy but we need the running back um so i, w- I would say swift more likely than not uh going and then i think some of those teams that we we listed off as i think ravens would be an awesome fit uh for him mm-hmm. um i think packers would be a nice little fit i think if if jacobs does go the raiders for cheap bears maybe for for a little cheaper adding adding that mm-hmm. in there or you know i think any of those little bit cheaper ones now you can start talking about hey w- would they go to you know the commanders have salary cap the the patriots have salary cap the texans have salary cap um you know the Bengals seem to have some salary cap but you know we are they gonna pay t higgins you know what, what are they gonna do uh they mm-hmm. i think they have mixing for another year chase brown's looking pretty good so i don't know that they're necessarily in the market um lions aren't in the market um you know cardinals potentially connor not a free agent but up there in in years so Mm -hmm. interesting there though so all right we'll keep it moving let's go pollard staying or going um i think of all the guys i feel like pollard he has more of a a path to stay that makes sense like i think Mm. with the offensive coordinator change this last year the way that they run and run the offense the success i mean obviously this last game wasn't wasn't great but the 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 success that they've had and he's kind of He's kind of had some flashes as he's uh, as the season's gone on. I feel like, in my opinion, he's not going to demand as much money as those other guys, and so I feel yeah. like he could come back on a team friendly deal and probably be, you know, uh, and that's not to say that they won't add something else there too. But but I feel like he probably, if I had to bet on one that would come back, I think Pollard would probably be the one that I would bet, unless I'm missing something completely. Like I feel like just just my gut feeling, feeling my plums that uh, that he's probably the he's probably the one that I would say that m- may stay, um, you know, once a cowboy, always a cowboy kind of, kind of feel going on there. And I also just feel like, I don't know how much, what is he? He's 26, be 27 by the time the season starts or, or close to it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that him coming back on a, on a two year with a third year prove it kind of deal would probably make a lot of sense for him in Dallas. And then on the Dallas side of the ball, like, I think that the 
running back room, you know, they can definitely improve behind Pollard, but um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if they, I, I, I don't think that they're going to bring in uh, big money. Um, you know, they're not going to bring in a Josh Jacobs or Barkley there. I, I don't believe. No, I, I, I would tend to agree there. I think they, they have, they got rid of the Zeke contract and now they're going to play the running back position a little different. Yeah. Um, so I, again, much like, you know, I think if much like Swift, if they can get a decent deal on him, I think they bring him back. I feel like he's, I think he's probably going to walk and they're probably going to do something different at the, at the position because Rico Dowdle also a, a free agent this year, who's mm-hmm. been getting a little bit more run. Um, so I, I think they try to grab somebody in the draft here um, and, and see if they can make it work all, you know, and, and maybe, you know, I don't know, man, that's a, that's a tough one. I thought, I thought they might lock up Tony Pollard long-term coming into this, but the fact that they only gave him the one year deal coming off the injury, mm-hmm. maybe that was what they wanted to see. It feels like he's, He's been looking a little better um, mm-hmm. over the last couple of games. Obviously, nothing went wet for Dallas in this last game versus the Bills. Um, so he is is, you know, I, coming into this, I thought he was one of the ones I thought for sure was gone. But you kind of saying that and talking about it makes me feel, yeah, I guess I guess I could see him coming back. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I've always I've always thought maybe the the Chargers end up grabbing him, but I don't I don't know that Kel I don't know that anybody's there. They find I think Staley's out of there as of this morning. Yep. Um, and so is the GM. Uh, so you know, I don't think Austin Eckler also a free agent probably gone uh, from mm-hmm. the Chargers. Uh, does Kellen Moore last? I you know I don't I don't know. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm not sure. I think if Kellen Moore goes somewhere, I think Pollard could could find himself there with him. Could follow. Yeah. Um. Or, or if he stays in, in L.A. and is their O.C. for another year and they just hire a head coach, which is, you know, kind of does. I don't know how often that happens. Um, I don't think it happens very often on the offensive side. Defensive side, it seems to happen, or at least what I've noticed is that the defensive coordinator tends to stick around more than the offensive coordinator on on most of the head coaching hires um, that I've seen anyways or that I've, I have that I can think of. But, is there um, is there any of these guys that we've talked about here that you're just that you're not interested in moving into next year? And we got one more before we get out of here. But uh, I I mean I, Pollard is probably the guy that I'm polar opposite on. I, I just haven't been high on him, but I wasn't high on him going into this year. Um, mm-hmm. And so out of in you know I I think it has to do with price. Just I, sure. I just don't feel like the price that I would have to pay for Pollard is is what I would want to gamble on personally um i i think i'm all over barkley and i'm all over jacobs i don't i don't i mean i'm not gonna t- I, i'm not gonna pay um you know um top top dollar for them in fantasy but but i'm not a, i'm not against going out and getting them and adding them to my roster i guess yeah say. pollard and swift would be the odd men's out odd men out on that swift mostly because of um just the uncertainty of of his of of him <laughs> of his yeah. play and of him in general and Pollard I just skill set wise I've I've never been a huge fan of his I feel like I feel like he's a more expensive David Montgomery to me like you know Ooh. from a, from a not from a play style but from a points perspective for fantasy so like I would rather have Montgomery over Pollard on my team um, if I'm when I'm building my rosters and so that's kind of where. That's kind of, but I would rather have Jacobs or Barkley over over Montgomery, obviously, because I feel like they have, they definitely have um, running back, not just RB one upside, but top half RB one upside. Where I feel like Pollard's RB one upside is he sneaks into RB eight, you know, right <laughs> like, you know, on, on a on a great uh, on a great season. So. Yeah, so we just we just completed a super flex tight end premium with rookies uh, draft that we'll be doing on the channel here soon in, in the next probably Wednesday or and then you'll see it the following week. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, all that jazz. Um, but Saquon going five twelve, Jacobs going five ten, and then Pollard going six um, five. Mm-hmm. So really not a ton of space between those guys. And I think, like you said, cost wise, I'm really into Jacobs and Saquon there. Pollard they, at that point not that interested. Yeah. So cost wise, I, I like. Uh, kind of tracking everything you're saying there as far as what the going rate's going to be for those guys. Um, and and I'll, I'll be buying the shit out of Saquon if he's a six round pick Same yeah. thing with, with Jacobs. Um, yeah. And it doesn't seem like th- that they're going to really trend up at the end of the year here. You know, I don't know. Jacobs was just out. So we'll see if he comes back um, and Saquon, uh, did he get nicked in this last game? It seemed like he was on the sideline at the end of the game. 
So I, I didn't. Yeah, I I didn't I get I didn't get to watch uh, the full game, but it it did seem like he got uh, either nicked or they just decided to to, yeah. to take him out, which I don't see why they would. But right, um, maybe they want to resign him. Maybe <laughs> keep him maybe. fresh. All right, last one, Derrick Henry, the 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 unaging beast. Uh, you know, just out there, just not looking like you know he fell off a cliff just yet. Looks looks fine mm-hmm. for the most part. That O line has been not good. We mentioned the Titans having decent amount of cash, which I think could open up the fact of bringing in an, an elite player. Because, like, like we mentioned, mm-hmm. you know, they're not. I don't think they're scared. Um, but it could be a scenario where you say, "Hey, we don't know what we're going to be like. Maybe we just pay Tony and, or uh, maybe we pay Henry and we we ramp up Spears a little bit more." What What are your thoughts on Henry moving forward, staying or going? I think just the way that that offense is, uh, you know, Will Levis. Younger Burks, you said it. They have some offensive line woes. I feel like Henry. I think at this point, if I'm him, I guess. Well, let me respond respond from a different perspective. If I hen, if I'm Henry, I think I'm leaving. Right. I think I'm trying to go to a different, um, more competitive roster. Um, if That's I'm the point. Titans, you know, the money that I'm going to have to pay for Henry, I think I would rather pay Josh Jacobs to come in, and and I don't think that they're that far off. Money wise, um, because I think this year Henry is making what 12 and a half, and Josh Jacobs is making 11, uh, yeah, 10 with with incentives, I think, basically. Yeah, 10 10 with incentives. So if you pay Jacobs what you're paying Henry this year, like I think I would rather bring in Jacobs (laughs) over Henry from a NFL roster construction perspective, right? Like I, I think I would rather pay Jacobs over paying the extra money for Henry. If Henry gave me a hometown discount, then maybe, but, but right. uh, so to answer your like, question, I think he's probably gone. Um, and, uh, and they think that, uh, I, I, I don't think that Tennessee's out of the running back race though. I think that they could be like you had said, I think uh, when we were talking about Barkley and Jacobs, I, I do think that they, I don't think that they're going to play it super cheap if Henry is gone. I think they want to. I think they want to keep that offense running through, you know, offensive line, good back. run yeah. production, good back, exactly, exactly. Yeah, kind of have high draft picks. I think they have most of their picks. They got some cap room, so they can shuffle things, some things around. I don't think Vrabel's in any trouble going anywhere. I think he's. They got a new GM. Yeah. Um, so, uh, putting up some fights and and have an interesting uh, quarterback who, who situation. Their, who's their GM there? I think he was the player personnel guy for the Niners. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Ran, uh, Ran Carthon. So yeah, I yeah, I think so. Uh, so you know, I I I've have faith in that in that organization. Uh, you know, they've they've built some trust with me that I th- I think they can steer that in the right direction. Um, yeah, and, and have a have a fairly quick turnaround on True, kind of what's yeah. going on there and be competitive. I could see you know. Henry saying, I just want to retire here. This has been my whole career. You guys did a lot for me and I'm, mm-hmm. I will take a little, you know, half, half the money, but I could also see, like you said, I'm going to try to go get on a competitor here. And, uh, yeah, I think Rand came from, from San Francisco. So that's, that's yeah. also kind of the the thing where they could be changing the philosophy of how they do the running backs too. to sure. more of a committee committee system. And so, yeah. um, but yeah, I, I think, I, I personally think Henry will be out. Um, and, I, everything that you said, I completely agree. He could definitely come back. He's definitely a hometown hero, um, and he should be. He's, you know, he's an amazing player and seems to have a really great personality. He hasn't gotten in trouble or anything like that. So he's a good person to put your franchise, your franchise, his pitcher on your next to your franchise. You know what I mean? When you're mm-hmm. trying to sell tickets and stuff like that. So he's he's definitely one of those uh, mar- marquee names in in the NFL. But I think if I'm Henry, I definitely am am looking for. Uh, you know, I love the competitive competitive nature of the Titans, and I think that division does look, you know, pretty juicy. But I, I, I think I would be personally, I'd, I'd be looking to to get onto a um, a, a legit top five contender if I could. Um, and yeah, I think he's got the talent that he could demand that from somebody a one year, one or two year deal. You know, a, a two year deal, but it's really a one year with a you know caveat for its second year type of thing at at 29 um i don't I, I guess another way to say this is i he's already got that pretty big contract so i don't know if he's going to be looking to get paid as much as he's going to be looking to win right yeah that makes sense um i don't know if i'm having a little bit of mic trouble here a little bit uh, i hear a little little hissing like i thought yeah. you were I thought you were like 
that was your nope. weird <laughs> no of my my uh my verse there but uh no no <laughs> i i agree with you but i'm i'm, I'm gonna wrap this up so jason cool. doesn't get upset about the sound um, yeah sorry if there was any noise in the background here not in the studio right now um, but wanted to get this one out for you had a little fun we'll keep looking at free agents as we move down the line here uh we'll continue to doing everything that we are doing roster reviews and and looking at 24 players and doing mocks all that jazz uh, be sure to like subscribe comment below um and uh, we'll catch you next time peace peace